Hi, it's Miss Julie. I found this animal book and I thought we could play a guessing game. I'll give you clues and then you have to guess the animal I'm thinking about by looking at the pictures. You want to play? There will be questions for every page and on every page there will be at least one challenge question that's a little harder. So this is the cover. My questions are, which animal has a mane? Did you say lion? Good. What's the animal that has a trunk? You got that right, elephant. Which animal can change color? This is the challenge question. Which animal can change color? Did you say a chameleon? Good job. The book is called My Little Animal Book, and it's by Joe Rigg. So these are all animals you might find on a farm. Which one says gobble, 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 gobble? Did you say the turkey? You're right. Which animal wakes up the farmer with its <laughs> That's the rooster, right? Now here's the challenge question. Which animal do we shear to get wool? Did you say the sheep? Good job. Now we'll look at some farm babies. Who does a gosling belong to? That's a baby goose. How about a calf? That's a baby cow. Who does a chick belong to? That's a baby chicken. How about a piglet? That's a baby pig. And what about a lamb? That's a baby sheep. And what about a duckling? That's a baby duck. Now this one is tricky for some people. What is a foal? A foal is a baby horse. Some people think that a pony is a baby horse, but it is not. Now let's do the pets. What's another name for a bunny? Rabbit, right? And which one is a talking bird? Did you say parrot? Good job. Now, some people say this animal says bow wow. Some say it says woof. And some people say it barks. Did you say a dog? Good job. Now here's your challenge. There's one rodent on this page. And a rodent is a mammal that has strong front teeth that keep growing and growing and growing. That's the hamster. Now, can you count the fish that are on this page? Count the fish. Did you get seven? Good job. Which animal on this page is a reptile? That's the turtle. And on this page, this is a tricky one. There's a rodent from South America. It has kind of a bushy tail. It's the chinchilla. It's the one in the middle that's in a kind of pinkish box. Can you find three animals that have spots? Did you find the leopard, the cheetah, and the giraffe? How about the animal that has humps? Did you say the camel? Good job. Um, how can you tell a rhino, which is on this page, from a hippo? The rhino has those horns, doesn't it? Which one is the fastest land animal? Did you say the cheetah? You're right. Cheetahs can run up to about 70 miles per hour. And then it's, I started to think, well, what's the fastest fish? And the fastest fish is called a sailfish. And then I wondered, what's the fastest bird? The fastest bird is the peregrine falcon. It can dive 200 miles per hour. 
Also on this page, you see a picture of the largest bird. Do you know what that's called? That's the ostrich. Now we're looking at animals that you might find in the jungle. Which animal has stripes? That's the tiger, right? And which animal was first a caterpillar? Yep, the butterfly. Which is the bird with the large colorful bill? Did you say toucan? Yeah, that's a toucan. And which animal is most like a person, or sometimes people call us human beings? That's a chimpanzee. I started to wonder about the difference between the gorilla and the monkey and the chimpanzee and the orangutan, which are all on this page. And I learned that humans, chimps, Gorillas, orangutans, and bonobos have larger brains, have larger bodies, and they do not have a tail. Monkeys are smaller, they have thin arms, and they have a smaller brain. Many monkeys have tails, and they tend to walk on all four feet, like a cat or a dog. Now let's take a look at some of the animals you might find in the sea. Which one is shaped like a star? Yeah, that's a starfish. How about the one that has a shell? Did you say turtle? Good job. How about the one that has eight arms? Eight arms. You can't see them in this picture, but the octopus has eight arms. And then this one is an invertebrate. That means it has no backbone. And its body is made up of almost all water. Do you know which one that is? That's the jellyfish. Sometimes I see those washed up on the shore when I'm at the ocean. These are animals you might find in a forest or in the woods. This animal has quills. Did you say a porcupine? This animal is often confused with a butterfly. It looks like a butterfly, but it's not one. You're right, it's a moth. This animal can't move its eyes, so it can turn its head 270 degrees, not the whole way around, but very, very far around. That one is the owl and the last one this animal looks like it wears a mask and it might get into somebody's garbage at night that's a raccoon these are polar animals what is a bird that cannot fly a penguin how about a white bear did you say polar bear? Good job. How about a bird that lives near the sea? That's a puffin that has that orange beak. This animal has a mustache and long tusks that they use to pull their bodies out of the water or to break breathing holes into the ice from below. That's a walrus. Can you answer these questions about animals from rivers and lakes? This animal looks like a frog. It's a toad. This animal often stands on one foot. It's a flamingo. And this is your challenge question. This animal, the male is called a cob and the female is called a pen. That's a tricky one. That's the swan. Can you answer questions about these reptiles and amphibians? This animal is often confused with a crocodile. It's an alligator. When scared, 
This animal hides in its shell. Did you say turtle? That's what it is. This reptile is a type of lizard that often has adhesive pads on its fingers. That's a gecko. This type of lizard lays eggs in a burrow in a, in a warm place, covers the eggs with leaves, and then walks away, never coming back again. That's the iguana. Now can you answer these questions about bugs? This one starts out as a caterpillar. Yep, that's a butterfly. This bug has two body parts and eight legs. Did you say spider? It's a spider. This bug carries its shell with it. That's a snail. Despite this bug's name, there are males and females. It's the ladybug. When I was younger, I thought that all ladybugs were girls, but there are girl ladybugs and boy ladybugs. Can you answer these bird questions? This bird uses its beak to poke holes in tree trunks to find bugs to eat. That's the woodpecker. The female of this bird is called a peahen. It's a peacock. This bird can talk. It's the cockatoo, the one with the yellow crest. This bird dives into the water to catch fish, then carries the fish in its large beak. That's the pelican. Now here are some Australian animals. There are two animals on this page whose babies stay in the mom's pouch and are called joeys. That's the kangaroo and the wallaby. This animal is a marsupial, that means its baby can go in its pouch. It's nocturnal, it digs burrows, and its incisors, its front teeth, never stop growing. That's the wombat. This marsupial, also an animal with a pouch, eats eucalyptus leaves. That's the koala, and a koala is not a bear, although some people call them koala bears. They're marsupials. On this page, we'll match the moms to the babies. Do you know what a baby dog is called? Yeah, a puppy. How about a baby pig? It's a piglet. How about a baby duck? That's a duckling. Do you know a baby horse? It's a foal. How about a baby sheep? That's a lamb. And a baby cow? That's the calf. How about a baby tiger? It's called a tiger cub. And how about a baby goat? That's called a kid. And do you know a baby cat? Yep, that's a kitten. The challenge on this page is to match the patterns to the animals. Can you find the square that looks like the duckling? Which one looks like the hen? How about the turtle? Can you find that one? Can you find the one that's the pattern of the seal? How about the butterfly? Can you find the porcupine's quills? Can you find the one that looks like the fish? How about the parrot? And can you find the pattern that looks like the leopard? On this last page, you really have to use your eyes to find the, the different things. Can you find a friendly dog? How about two fat pigs? 
Can you find three lumpy toads? Can you find four brown deer? How about five noisy roosters? Can you find six fluffy goslings? Can you find seven striped fish? How about eight beautiful butterflies? Can you find nine swimming seahorses? And last, can you find 10 spotted ladybugs?